Sometimes you just gotta jump in and do it, right? Hi! Um, this will be a real short video 955. I am at work, as you can see, I'm taking a uh, break. I do try at least once or twice a week to, I've been meaning to do it more often, but get up, get dressed, comb my hair, do a little bit of makeup, and uh, today I decided I would um, wear my the, the highest heels that I have as I am trying to build up my confidence. I uh, watched a video that had uh, Susie, Susie Izzard, formerly Izzy Izzard, um, and she was walking on the stage in heels and forward, backwards, left, right. I mean, she was walking all over the place in these heels that were like, and I was like, I, I want that confidence. So today as I'm doing my stuff in heels, and they're only, I think, two inches. I mean, for me, it's, <laughs> but anyway. Um, but now I, I just wanted to touch base and, and some of my feelings. Uh, I'm getting my head's meds adjusted, so that's really good um, to deal with some depression and some suicidal feelings I've been having lately. Um, I was able to talk to my um, head meds person, and so those head meds are on the way, supposedly. We switched to a new um, healthcare cover carrier a couple days ago, and so it's just, you just got to wait, you know, just got to wait for everything to go through. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about an observation that I had, which was that, like, I have never in my life really looked in the mirror and liked what I saw. Um, maybe when I was, I lost a bunch of weight for my surgery, but I didn't like the way I looked then either. You know, I didn't look healthy. I looked very ragged. And you could tell that my body was like, this isn't, you can't do this forever. This is temporary. But, you know, I, I wonder if, and if, for me, I have to talk about myself. I'm sorry. You know, um, how I feel about myself changes throughout the day. And, you know, it's not, I go through these periods. It's never at the peak. Oh, I love the way I look. Da da da. Um, I have these moments where maybe I see a part of me, like maybe my face or something. I'm like, oh, well, you look pretty today. You know, I go about my business, and um, you know, I bought a full-length mirror for my daughter and I both to kind of check our appearance before we go out. You know, it's just kind of a a confirmation. Yes, I look good you know, da, 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 can be very empowering. But today when I walk past it, I'm like, oh, that's wrong. You know, I don't like the way this looks. So, you know, it, 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 it's so easy to criticize. And I, um, I know it's all up here. I know it's all up here. Um, I had the, uh, one of the, the people that I game with now, um, uh, my daughter's going to come out. I'm going to pause the video, okay? Zoom. There we go. How about that? Finally learning how this works after five years. Um, real quick, my time is short. My lunch is almost over, and my, my four-legged children want my lunch. Um, kind of playing defense, as you can see. Um, what was I going with that? I know it's up here. I don't look good. I don't like the way I look. I, I judge myself. And I have to give myself a, not a free pass, but some leeway that, hey, you've never liked the way you, that you look. And while there are some things within your control, there are just some things you, you, you cannot control. And here's what I was getting to is um, I had started playing D&D &D with a new group of people about a month ago and there's one woman in the group who's about as big as I am as tall as I am um, has a very very throaty voice like this when they talk they're a cis woman they're cis I mean they are a cis woman um, 
six foot tall, um, has a, a belly like I do, you know, and, you know, I just have to, and, and I don't, I don't want this to come across like I'm being negative, but how I feel about myself, cis women have the same sense of what's wrong with me. Okay, our society plays on our fears. We have to look a certain way. And so I think to transition, and, and, and again, I'm, I'm in a weird boat because I'm, I was six foot tall when I started. Um, it's not like I would shrink as a result of HRT, but you know what I'm saying is um, people, cis people, trans people, it's a roll of the dice when we're born what genetics we're going to have, how tall we're going to get, how big we're going to get. Um, you know, yeah, um, a couple years ago, five or six years ago, uh, I lost a lot of weight, and I hated it. And I have to balance and say, okay, well, if you did something similar today, and you didn't wreck your health, or maybe you did like a gastric bypass or something, you know, it, it's all up here. It's all up here. You know, yes, you might feel better, but, it, you know, you could have the the perfect body that you want in your head and still have issues. You know, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I also know, like I said, mentally, I'm a little wonky right now. Um, you know, I don't necessarily know that everything is normal. Just me talking. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't necessarily have a baseline for anything. So, anywho, I'll stop talking. So that's my video. Hang in there. Hope you're doing well.